this is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, Yahweh thy power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine or bread, nor thirst for water, but the hearing of the words of the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai. <coughs> This is Dabu7. A big heads up here for folks out there that use Snap EBT system. It's apparently down at this point, and I'm getting a ton of emails and people that are pretty ticked off saying that they are getting rejected in terms of their orders. I've heard everything from people on their birthday, uh, having their birthday getting ruined, not being able to get their food that they could pay for. But others say that they've heard of friends that were at the grocery store had carts full of groceries, and then get shut down and told the system's down nationwide. And when we go over here to Down Detector, we can see when looking at the map that there are reports popping up all across the country. Many different cities. We see in the comments down there below on Down Detector, Indiana, Ohio, Maine, Oklahoma. I mean, it's just widespread across the board. So I wanted to let folks know this is a major issue that's ongoing right now. If you're looking to go out, purchase food or goods with SNAP EBT, do know they're having major issues. I'll continue to update on this as I get more information. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and hit that subscribe button and bell notification for more. This has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all. Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Karkadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And I say Shalom to Akim out there. And this is a quick sit down lesson through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh Yahweh on this August the 28th, 2022, on this uh, Sunday afternoon at 2 48 p.m. Central Standard Time, on this um, Sunday afternoon. And as you've seen from, uh, you know, from the, you know, uh, Dabu brought out that report. He had like a, you know, uh, a outage, <coughs> a outage between, I believe, like in the middle Midwestern region in the United States. About they had like a, a outage. I don't know how long what how it was, and then you know, uh, snap beneficiary. Uh, customers, you know, they was in an uproar about, you know, uh, they was uh, getting all their, getting all their foods and stuff, shopping for, for them and their family and friends and stuff like that. Next thing you know, they was denied access up and it was a huge outage in the Midwestern region like Chicago, Detroit and other places close to that region, you know. And it was had like a major outage, you know, as Double Seven was uh, reporting that, you know. Imagine, you know, when that time comes, that's why I brought out Amos 8 and 11, you know, because when Jacob's trouble comes, you know, this just is a preview of a science for what's about to come. You know, we are definitely approaching those times because you look at what the uh, hyperinflation, cost of living, the cost of foods and goods go up. Imagine if you can't use that assistance uh, of food, you know, hey, because that f shortage of foods, uh, famines, hey, that's just a preview of what's about to come very soon. And we've seen signs of that. You know, imagine, you know, your uh, family can't, like, be able to get the access of foods that you can't. You know, you've been denied for it. Uh, 
if it be like a outage. Cause you know, sometimes Esau eating, he love to do that order out of KO as well too, you know. But these just are uh, prime examples of what can really happen or what can really go down if, you know, that family hits, you know. And I'm look up the definition of a family, you know. Cause we are definitely living in those times, you know. Let's see uh, the definition of fan. Yep, fan. Hey, now, extreme scorches of food drought could result a famine throughout the region. Famine, 1921 to 1922. A shortage of famine of the, of the early 1860s. It says origin, Latin, middle. English from Old French for fam, hunger for Latin fans, right? Because hey, if a, if a famine approach, hey, you can just go hear them. You're gonna be hearing the words of your how about your mouth shy, you know. And I'm gonna read again for that location sake. This is Book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11. And verse 11 through the Holy Scriptures in the Book of Amos and the Holy Scriptures, and it reads. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in a land, not a, fam a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. Right, because you've seen prime examples of, of thirst for water as well, too, with these uh, extremely droughts. Places like Nevada, California, Arizona, you know, and the crops in these uh, farms and stuff like that, you know. Imagine, you know, have like a food shortage, uh, everything just completely blank goes out, you know, and you use those uh, access, you know, to get food and stuff like that. You know, when that time comes, you're just going to hear the words of Yahweh Bashim al You know, that's why the, the prophet's been out there warning these things, you know. And these are just a prime examples, you know. You know, what if, you know, when that time comes, everything be shut down, you know, you're going to be able to access uh, food and stuff that you need for your house to get food stock up and stuff like that. Even though a lot of people are definitely hip to this, they they hip to this, they they already know, you know, because a lot of people uh, food stock up their foods and stuff like that just in case if uh, anything goes down, you know, when that famine hits that time of Jacob's trouble, you know. And I'm gonna bring out the uh let's see, bring out uh Isaiah 31 and 1. You know, putting your full putting your full trust in uh modern day Babylon, you know. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 31, verse 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. And they stay on horses and trust in chariots, because there are many in horsemen, because they are very strong. But Look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Right, because you, uh, especially the children of Israel, you know, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. And as I was seeing it on Dabu, it showed a highlighted of the uh, map of the United States of that uh, momentary shortage that they had, you know, and uh, customers was in outrage that they could they couldn't get their foods and goods and stuff like that because it was denied because it was like a a, a a complete outage in the midwestern region you know what if you uh that's why the heavenly father said woe unto them that go down to seek help just like in ancient times you know the israelites you know want to stay in Egypt, you know, a hey, just like this in modern day Egypt, you know, a hey, when that time comes, a hey, when everything, everything blinks out, food shortages, food don't come around no more, uh, the food system, the electronic system go down, a hey, that's when that our temptation comes as well too, and we've been mentioning that, you know, because everything, everything is so digitized and digital nowadays, you know. Hey, that's when that MOTB comes around as well, too. You know, which is recorded in the, that Karagma, uh, recorded in the book of Revelations 13 through verse 16 through verse 18, you know. Hey, and I believe in Revelations 14 chapter, I forget what verse, and it says, uh, if you uh, take 
take that image of the B-E-S-T, you know, and there's going to be uh, some consequences for that, you know. So that's why we trust in the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, you know. Like the scripture says down there further down, they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither near seek the Lord, right? Because you got the children of Israel that still that they that still don't know that they are the children of Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, the twelve tribes of Israel, the real children of Israel. You know, they still go down to seek help for Egypt. That's why the Heavenly Father said, Woe unto them that go down to seek help for Egypt. And you know, when those times come, when that family come, when that uh, full all out uh, family comes, you know, hey, the only one you're gonna trust is Yahweh Bashim El Shai, you know. So, with that, you know, this was a quick uh, sit down lesson through the spirit, power, of grace, and mercy of Yahweh El Shai. Hope this was edifying. But, you know, that's just that, that that's just a prequel, a prequel, uh, a pre-crew of what's about to come when that time comes, you know, because only one, only thing you're gonna hear as I bring out a most eight and eleven hey, is that that famine of the word, you know. It's gonna be no no bread or no thirst of water, but the hearing of the words of Yahweh Shai and these holy scriptures, you know. That's why the servants, the prophets of Yahweh uh, Shai Shai out there warning our people into the other nations as well too like the scripture says we out there on the uh cheap place of concourse you know to the uh, talking to the, all the nations and our own people as well too for the hey we was blowing the trumpet you know sounding the sound of your alarm for what's about to come and we're seeing signs of that and as you've seen that little video right there, that uh, a minute and 31 second clip right there, uh, hey, that just shows you a prequel for what's about to potentially about to come very soon. And we see in signs of that, you know, like I mentioned before with the hyperinflation, you know, the cost of living, the food prices constantly, consistently going up with the uh, oil gas productions, even though it's been slightly going down along with the inflation. But those things going to continue to increase back up, you know. And then that hour temptation comes in, and then it's gonna roll along right with that MOTB, you know. So hey, these are the times that we're living in. Even though, like I mentioned before, sometimes he Esau, he might do his order out of kale, you know. But you know, this famine of the world is gonna be heard, you know. And there's gonna be a, a, a no thirst for water or bread, but the hearing of the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, you know. And in that Isaiah 31 and 1, woe well, unto them that seek help from Egypt, you know, and not seek the Holy One of Israel. You know, that's our people, the children of Israel. Hey, when that time comes, when that famine hits, a shortage of food, of food, you know, they're going to be, they're going to be one to seek the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in that day, you know, and it's showing signs that we are approaching in those times. So with that, I will say Shalom and the ball, the ball.